artist, New York's skyline is like a painting of majestic beauty. To a musician, the city could be a nerve-wracking symphony of disparate sounds. More like a cacophony of music that is the heart of the city on traffic-clogged streets. But its soul could be found underground, where the strains of a violin concerto reverberate off the tile walls of the portal to the subway ride back home. 24-year-old Miles Gittens is an accomplished musician from Barbados who has transformed the walkway from Fulton Street to the World Trade Center Oculus into his concert hall. He won a tough audition to be a part of the MTA's Volunteer Music Under New York program. For right now, the subway is my theater and my stage. As a musician, my job is to come here and express everything I'm feeling at that time so my art would be an expression of myself. The bow glides ever so smoothly across the strings of his electric violin. His poetry of music is mesmerizing. Harried commuters are momentarily frozen in their dash to the train. They stand in silence and listen, the elderly, the young. His music inspires some to dance. Others use their cell phones to record his performance. To stop and just share this moment with me means a lot. Miles doesn't get paid by the MTA, but his music does tip some folks to drop off a buck or two. He says he can earn as much as $300 a day from a legion of fans. It's very calming and soothing after a hard day's work. I love when I come through here and Miles is playing because he plays so many different genres of music. I learned to interpret other person's music in a way that helps me make it part of my being. Miles' passion for music defies the stereotypes of his instrument. His repertoire ranges from classical to a mixture of fusion and jazz. In between, he includes music he has written himself. This guy is phenomenal. He's just in the wrong arena. Every time I come out and I play, I give it 100% because I'm thinking maybe someone will see me, maybe someone will give me that Carnegie Hall gig or just something that would not, that would take me out of the subway. The poetry of music, soothing the frenetic sounds of a bustling city, the vibes of a masterful musician with a passionate goal to take his music from the subways of New York and share them with other cities around the world. At the Cortland Street Station in Lower Manhattan, I'm Marvin Scott, Pix 11 News.